make sure that we do not associate partners with Allah neither in the form of a stick nor a stone nor a grave nor a saint nor a pious man nor an imam of a masjid nor a sheikh who might have taught you goodness they we can respect those who have done good we do not worship them goodness comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know sometimes people think that if I shake your hand brother I can now wipe my hand on my whole body and I will be cured Brother, that man, you don't know what his link with Allah is behind the closed doors. Did Muhammad tell you that you must shake someone's hand and then wipe that hand on your whole body to get cure from the pain that you have in your knees? No, he did not say that. If he did not say that, why should we do it? Better for you is to raise your hands. Ya Allah, cure me. I am sick. Ya Allah, I am ill. Cure me. Grant me shifa. You are the owner of cure. Wa idha maridtu fa huwa yashfin. When I am sick, he is the one who will cure me. That dua is more powerful than having wiped your hands on your body a thousand times after having touched somebody or something. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So many people, when you, we say this, they start getting upset. What is this? We go back to the rule. Do not insult Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Some people insult him by creating cartoons. Some people insult him by creating videos. But Muslims insult him by adding or subtracting from what he brought. That is a bigger insult than any video or any cartoon. The reason is we are claiming to be Muslims. And he says, do not go beyond the limit. Subhanallah, we go beyond the limit. Sometimes some people, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all guidance, do not realize that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes, he was the highest of the prophets, he was the best of creation. We don't deny that, but he said himself, do not worship me. So how can we then worship him or how can we worship someone else even worse? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us.